Hey guys, it's Matt with Strong Tower Roofing. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to repaint a rusty roof vent. This is important because over time and weather, your roof vents get rusted out. And if you let them go too long rusty, they'll rust completely through and then rain is allowed to come down inside the roof vent and that'll start rotting out your roof deck. It'll allow um, whatever this roof vent is connected to. It'll allow water to go into it, whether it be your dryer vent, um, an attic fan, um, you know, a bathroom fan and such as that. Um, so it's very important to keep these things painted so they're not allowed to rust through. So a couple things you'll need is some spray paint. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I chose the Rust-Oleum uh, two times coverage paint and primer all in one. It's just a one step deal. Um, one, maybe two coats on this is all you'll need. Then a sanding block um, or a piece of sandpaper, either way. This is a medium sanding block. You could go with 100 grit or maybe 80 grit. Um, sandpaper would work you know just as well but I just find the sanding block is easier to um, hold on to it's easier to use um, and they're you know they're fairly cheap at Home Depot and then when you actually get done sanding it down and you get ready to paint it you'll need some kind of a um, paint shield because you're gonna be spraying paint you don't want to get spray paint all over your roof shingles and such as that so uh, this is just a sign. You can use a piece of cardboard. You could um, tape off, you know, with uh, paper or, you know, painter's tape around your roof vent and uh, spray it that way. Either way, um, just something that will keep the paint from getting on your um, shingles um, and making, you know, marks. Now, the first thing you want to do is uh, take your sanded block and just go over your, all over this and just rough it up with your sandpaper and to prep the surface to receive the paint. And I'll do that now. All right, we've got this roof vent sanded down. Now we're gonna take our paint, make sure you shake it well, follow the uh, application directions on the can, um, but shake it well and it says to apply you know, two to three light coats. So we're gonna go ahead and apply our first coat now. Now, when you're doing this, after you shake the can up, you want to get your shield and again, be very careful you're on your roof and you're trying to uh, do this stuff we don't want anyone to have any accidents but take your spray paint and your shield lay your shield down on the roof like so and then approximately you know a foot or so from the vent Start spraying your spray paint. All right, we've got one coat on the roof vent, one light coat. We're gonna give it a few minutes to dry. Then we'll come back and we'll add one more finished coat on it, and then we'll be done. Well, that's it. That's the final coat. This roof vent will be good to go for many years to come. We won't have to worry about this rusting through, causing more damage to the roof. Also, I will provide some links in the description to the items that I used in this video. Um, again, you can get them from Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, they're not that expensive. Um, everything you've seen in this video is probably about $10, maybe $15, and it would save you a couple hundred dollars from having a roofing contractor come out and do this for you. Also, I'll provide before and after photos 
at the end of this video.